I went on the board of the Sparks Health System and uh, at that time then, in consultation with the CEO of the hospital, I said, you know, we need to get a committee together that will figure out how to sell this thing. And that board of trustees then, and I was on that board, uh, were trying to figure out what to do with the cash that had been received to benefit the people in this region of the country. I was actually having lunch with the CEO that had acquired the hospital from us, and I asked her if somebody had enough cash, what would they do uh, to help move the needle in Fort Smith? And without hesitation, she told me to build a DO medical school. And I said, okay, why osteopathic medicine? And she said, well, largely for the vast majority of osteopathic physicians, they go into primary care. And we really need primary care. That's the most underserved area as far as physician health care. So uh, we educated ourselves on that. We actually flew and looked at some schools and talked to some people that had started osteopathic schools. I believe it was 2014, the board voted to establish the first program inside of the Arkansas Colleges of Health Education, and that was the Osteopathic Medical School. Breaking ground in 2015 on what's called the ARCOM building. Immediately thereafter, there was the resident apartments. Then there was phase two of the resident apartments. And then there was the Health Sciences building. After Health Sciences came, Salvadorian food, pizza, primarily women's clothing store, nail salons, workout area, uh, ice cream shop. And then we break ground and build a clinic. We lease that out to one of the local hospitals that are here. We give away land so that we can have the, uh, the rehabilitation hospital that's built here. 570 something acres of land here, beautiful. But what it's designed to do is to let the community know one another, interact with one another. And so that's why we've built what we've built here. We currently have a physical therapy school, occupational therapy school, master's program that's here. We're about to uh, go into a new program in, in physician's assistant. I'm convinced that people are now more focused on education and encouraging people they know and their kids to pursue education. We have this great outreach to all the school districts in the area. Why haven't you considered being a medical professional of some kind? The other thing it's, it's changing is changing access to health care, giving people more access. This is one of the most severely underserved areas in terms of medical care in the United States. It's causing people to think about their own health in a different way. So some of the programs that are ancillary to the school, are creating awareness about healthy eating and about all different kinds of, and it's starting at an early age. It's gonna affect thousands of people for generations. I think it's added a new life to an area of Fort Smith and uh, helped the growth of the city. AIC does things through its innovative efforts to make transformational change in education and well-being for the benefit of others.